Okay, well this is part two of the automatic solar charge Daphne LED charger light. And uh, I made a mistake on the diagram, and I wanted to correct it. On the diagram I showed in the last video, I had the uh, solar charger entering the back side of the circuit. That's wrong. It doesn't work there. Uh, it needs to go on the front side, over on this side of the circuit, to, for it to work. Um, also, on the diagram I didn't show, but I'm using a 25 ohm rheostat right here to control the uh, amount of power coming out of the source. And that's another thing that wasn't shown. And uh, the toggle switch back and forth just cycles the battery from one side to the other side. It's a double pull, double throw switch um, that is not shown in the diagram, but that's what that switch does. And it allows me to switch batteries from one side to the other side. That I wanted to make sure people understood that the diagram uh, that I showed yesterday was wrong. This is not where it goes. It doesn't go in the back side. Uh, the charger part goes in the front side. And um, that is the um, correct diagram right there. If you want to freeze frame that and take a look at that one. And um, that's, that's how I'm running this system. Now the other thing I tried today was I tried to do this on a jewel thief by putting that into the base of a Jewel Thief circuit right there and was completely unsuccessful. It did not work. And I don't know why. I'm going to have to figure out uh, why it's not working on a Jewel Thief. But it worked on this circuit, but not on the Jewel Thief. Um, this is how I've, I've got the demonstration tonight. I've just got the solar cell with a light here. And this is the mass of wires and stuff for the little uh, charger. But right now you can see the um, LED is on right there. And the um, two uh, white LEDs are off. And that's because the uh, light has switched on the charging part and turned off the main circuit. And this is the amp draw that's going into the system right here. That's the amp and the voltage. And there's voltage on the battery that's currently being charged with the solar cell. Now I'm going to move this solar cell up and down and watch the amp meter change here as I do that. See it go negative? When I move this out of the light, this will go into a negative and that goes into the positive. And that's this charging circuit. Now watch the voltage here also as I do this. You see that go up and down? And that's as I'm moving this in and out of the light. And uh, that's how this circuit is supposed to work here is um, when the light is on, the energy flows into the system. And then when the light turns off, uh, the energy uh, comes back out into the LEDs. Now, I'll show you how the system works. I'll simulate it here. I'll take this out of the light, and you'll see these LEDs come on. Then they come on. The back of the light, they go off. Come on, go off, come on, go off. And that's how this is supposed to operate. And I have this set so this comes on at about dusk and then goes off as soon as the light is strong enough in the morning. But uh, like I say, the way I had this shown yesterday, it appeared to work that way, but it does not. So you have to put it in on the front side of the circuit like this. And then it works just fine. But anyway, that's what I've been working on today. I've been trying to get this refined. Uh, it's a neat little system. I just wish I could figure out some way to make it work on a regular Jewel Thief. I think a Jewel Thief is much more efficient and fewer parts. I just have to figure out some way to turn this on and off. I might end up having to use a photo cell circuit, which I would rather not do. But uh, anyway, that's the latest on the um, automatic solar charged Daphne LED charger light.